All right, so once you have gone in and installed your actions, go ahead and open up the image you're gonna be working on. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and use the best airbrush on this. It has to be done on a single layered background image, which means there's just one layer. If you have more than one layer, you can Command E or Control E and merge it down so it's one layer. They all have to be applied on an image that only has one layer. And you can apply more than one action to an image. You just have to make sure you merge that layer uh, down that you've done the action on before you apply another action. So as you can see, it has this adjustment layer over it. You have to go ahead and paint on white with your paintbrush at 100% opacity on the areas of the image that you want the effect to be applied on. Uh, they're layer masked, so it's a way so that the smoothing skin can only be applied to the areas of the skin you want it to be applied to. So you have to go ahead and paint all that in. Um, and then you can change the opacity to a lower opacity or a higher opacity, depending on how smooth that you want your skin. Go ahead, I like to take my opacity down a little bit so it's not too smooth. And then uh, in order to apply the next action, you're going to Command E and merge that down. Now, once it's at a single layered image, you can go ahead and apply your next action. I'm gonna go ahead and work with her under eyes, go ahead and play that action. And we have our paintbrush on white at 100% opacity. We are gonna paint in those areas that we wanna correct under her eyes. We're gonna go and uh, Adjust the opacity to our liking. Merge that down, Command E or Control E. We're gonna go ahead and enhance her irises to give her eyes a little bit of a pop. And once again, we're gonna paint that area in just where we want it on that adjustment layer mask. We're gonna Command E. We're gonna go ahead and uh, add some skin texture. Sometimes if you do a little bit too much smoothing, the image can look a little bit fake. Um, adding some skin texture back can decrease that a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and brush that on where we'd like it as well, just the areas that we put the airbrush on. Uh, the airbrush can leave it a little bit soft. And once again, we'll take this opacity down to suit this specific image. So as you can see, you can do quite a few things in here with the actions um, and with the different adjustments. It, you just all have to be applied on a single image. Um, if you wanna see the before and after of what you've done, you can always take a snapshot and compare the original to the one that you've worked